Horses race number 11, the third division of the Jug Preview. Racing one mile, a purse $57,000. The one, a son of Di Laughing with the Valdeor Farms and Mike Granoff of Saddle River, New Jersey. Bob McIntosh training with a two year old mark at Lexington, 151 and four. Earnings of $708,000. He is Jug eligible. Bill Fade driving, live or die. The two is the Ohio bred son of Towner's Big Guy, owned by Jack Shearer of North Lawrence, Ron Posty of North Canton, Ohio, Jeff Cox, the trainer. A three old record here at the Cider Downs, 152 and 3, earnings of $302,000. Dave Miller driving Crisp Sabra. From post three, a son of Abercrombie, over the Wellwood stables of Cambridge, Ontario, and the FAFJ stable. William Wellwood, the trainer, a three-year-old record at Sportsman's Park, Chicago, 156-3, earnings of $109,000. Paul McDonnell driving, sharp contrast. From post four, a three-year-old California-bred son of Dignitarian, OYAS, and J.L. Gellerman of Cypress, California, C.N.L. Green of Venice, California, Paul Jessup, the trainer, with a mark at the Meadowlands, a world record, 149 and 3, earnings $301,000. George Brennan Jr. driving, GG Digger. From post five, a gray son of Log, owned by Colford Stud of Sutherland, England. Stu Ferlot is the uh, trainer. A mark of 152 and 3 at Woodbine, earnings of $46,000. Dave Wall driving, Colford Log. From post six, a son of Albatross. Oh, by Marilyn Fromowitz of Richmond Hills, Ontario, Canada. Bill Robinson training with a record at Vernon Downs, 150 and three. Earnings in excess of $462,000. He is jug eligible. Tony Corbett driving. Oy vey. And from the outside, post seven, a son of Cam Fella, owned by Larry Ainsworth, Mart West Racing Stable, Lady APA Stable of Ontario. Garth Gordon is the uh, trainer. He sports a two year record, one uh, 54 and one at the Meadowlands, earnings of $269,000. A jug eligible, Mike Saftig driving Ombro Oliver. Win play show perfected. Yep, moving in. From the rail out, live or die, crisp sombra, sharp contrast, GG Digger. Colford Log, Oy Vey, and Amro Oliver from the outside. They're on the back stretch. They're approaching the start. And uh, they're off, and from the far outside, it's Oy Vey who hustles quickly for the lead, but Crisp Sauber, using the inside to his advantage, takes command now, and uh, dunking in quickly. Third is Sharp Contrast. From the inside, fourth, G.G. Digger to the outside, five, Colford Log. Away in sixth is Live or Die, the early trailer, Ombro Oliver. Round the first turn, Oy Vey and Kerwood setting the pace early here, leading by two. And tonight, Crisp Somber will have to use the guard spot. Racing in second here, the opening quarter, 26 and three. This field now in straight alignment as they come through the stretch, and it's Oy Vey leading by two. Crisp Somber to the inside, racing in second. Then comes Sharp Contrast, gamping slightly in third. And GG Digger is a content fourth on the inside. Colford Log looking to flush that cover, and now does to the outside in fifth. Live or die to the inside, gapping badly in sixth. Ombro Oliver on the back end, racing seventh. Here's the half, 55 and two as they make the swing to the back stretch. And on the front, Oy Vey, Crisp Sabra is now locked in in second. And now here comes the champ, G. G. Digger. First up on the outside, and Colford Log drafting with that cover in fourth. On the inside, racing five, it's sharp contrast of the field. Slowly coming together here, Oy Vey by three parts of a length. G. G. Digger. First up, uncovered in second, Crisp Sabra in the pocket in third, three quarters, 123 and one. As they drive to the final turn, Oy Vey looking to wire the field, but on the outside, GG Digger is stalking that leader, and Crisp Sabra should be well rested. A big handful here waiting for the inside lane. They've lost it at eighth, and down the stretch they come. Oy Vey has a lead, and Crisp Sabra down to the inside with a quick rush. GG Digger on the outside. Here comes Ombro Oliver from far back, but it's Oy Vey. 
Oyvay, who stays game here. It's very tight for seconds. Oyvay, gate to wire. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a new stakes record, 151 and 2. Ladies and gentlemen, stumping trackside into the winner's circle, the official winner. The third division of the Jug Preview from post six. It's Oive, son of Albatross, from the Camp Philomere, Ambro Glossy. Well, Marilyn Fromowitz of uh, Richmond Hills, Ontario. Bill Robinson trains nicely handled tonight by Tony Kerwood. Oive recording his fifth of the season, second consecutive coming in from Mohawk. Tonight's mile 151 and 2 is a Jug Preview Stakes record and also a national season's record for three year old pacing Colts on a 5 8 mile track. Track side to make the trophy presentations. Representatives of the Robbins Companies, Augie Blovins Tour and Travel, and members of the Little Brown Jug Society.